What's up guys, this is Andy here with Ultima I Device Vids, and it's no secret that jailbreakers get new features faster than most iOS users. The functionality of jailbreak tweaks are often baked into future versions of iOS, and with iOS 10, there's nothing different. So today in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys 10 jailbreak tweaks that actually made their way to iOS 10. Now, I just want to let you guys know, I'm not necessarily saying Apple quote-unquote stole these features. Uh, Apple may have just thought of the same idea and it happened to be in a jailbreak tweak. However, some of these may have actually been inspired by tweaks. There's just no way to tell. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into it. So here on the left, I have a device running iOS 10 beta. And on the right, I have a jailbroken device running iOS 9. So let's go ahead and start off with the lock screen of iOS 10. Apple essentially added new widgets if you slide over to the right like this. As you can see here, we have weather, stocks, calendar, and there's many more you can download from the App Store. And you have this little edit button down here to rearrange them at the bottom. Now, there's a tweet that comes to mind that's very similar to this. It's called Convergence. However, unfortunately, it hasn't been updated since iOS 7. So I'm going to go ahead and have to show you guys this tweak on an old jailbroken iPhone 4 over here. So essentially, let me show you guys what this looks like. So it is a lock screen and a tweak. And the widgets section is the most similar. As you guys can see here, this is the widgets section of Convergence. Just the shape of the widgets and the color, and just kind of the overall design language is very similar. You can see we have the square, blurred, white design right here. And, you know, as you can see, you could just scroll. A very similar design there. And what's the most similar to me and what really shocks me the most is this little edit button down here in comparison with this little circular grabber. So as you can see there, just the design language is so similar. You know, we have these white little widget sections, and then we have that little edit button down there, and then we have this grabber, and again, they just look incredibly similar. Who knows, maybe this was inspired by Convergence, but Convergence was always one of my favorite tweaks, so it's cool to see that that kind of design language, that kind of functionality is now on the lock screen, so you could get all this information here, and it looks similar as well to the tweak. And there are modern tweaks that you can install on the latest iOS 9 jailbreaks, such as Personal Assistant, which I have here, which provides similar kind of information, for example, weather, calendar, on the lock screen. But again, in terms of design language, convergence is definitely the closest thing to iOS 10. Next up, we have the design of notifications. In iOS 10, Apple implemented a app by app grouping for the lock screen and the notification center. As you guys can see right here, for example, I have a FaceTime notification and a messages notification, and they all have their separate little bubbles there. A tweak called notification cards can do this. So essentially, as you can see right here, we have the same deal here. We have our messages, notifications in one bubble, and our face FaceTime notifications in another bubble. So that's a tweak that was available before. Now it's present in iOS 10. And the same thing goes for the lock screen with both of these designs with the tweak and iOS 10. So I'm really happy about this one personally. I've always hated the way iOS clumps all the notifications together, and I'm glad to see that you know Apple finally decided to fix that. With iOS 9 last year, Apple introduced something called breadcrumbs. And essentially, uh, it's a little button in the upper left-hand side of the status bar that allows you to go back to the previous app if you've been redirected to that app from the previous app. Uh, again, and again, the only issue is it actually completely covers up the upper left-hand side of the status bar, so you can't actually see your signal strength your carrier name or your Wi-Fi slash 4G. Back in iOS 9, it said back to the previous app. And again, it completely covered everything up. Now with iOS 10, as you can see, when I click on a link, it just shows me a little back arrow and it just says the name of the app. Then it shows me my Wi-Fi signal strength slash 4G LTE, something like that. So again, it just cuts out the back to phrase just to make more room so you could still display that indicator there so again it still doesn't show you your signal strength or your carrier name but it's definitely a step forward uh, there was a city tweak called bread crumb arrow that did a very similar thing so let me show you guys here essentially this tweak as you can see there it does the same thing it removes the back to text and it just shows an arrow and it shows the app that you'd be going back to if you tapped it however the tweak is superior because as you can see there it shows everything it shows the carrier name the signal strength and the wi-fi slash 4g indicator so obviously with the jailbreak tweak there there's more there just because, you know, obviously it's not an official feature. And there are some settings to configure for the tweak in the settings app, but nonetheless, I'm glad Apple has improved it with iOS 10. On the iOS 10 control center, when you have items toggled on, as you can see there, they all have their own individual color and it really spices up the experience. This was initially found on Apple Watch, but now it's been added again in iOS 10. However, there is a city tweak on iOS 9 that allows you to achieve the same exact effect. And it's called cream. As you can see right here, same effect. The tweak actually works better when you're in darker environments, for example, the Compass app. But nonetheless, same thing, the city tweak provided, now is implemented directly into iOS 10. 
iOS 10 now allows you to remove most stock applications. You know, obviously some essential ones are still required, but as you can see here, if I go into local mode, it will allow me to remove various applications. For example, the stocks application, as you can see right here, remove, and it's gone just like that. And this is something that jailbreaks have allowed you to do. You could essentially hide app, app icons from showing up on your home screen. Uh, Spring to Mize is a city tweak that provides that functionality, but there are various city tweaks that allow you to do this. This is just one of them, but for Spring to Mize, you go into icons, scroll into the bottom, select hide icons you could hide any application so let me just go to my home screen here and show you guys uh, let's just say the iTunes store app let's say I wanted to get rid of that so I could just uh, go in here find the iTunes store and I just need to go ahead and check it off and now as you can see when I go back to my home screen the iTunes store is completely gone so now that's brought in iOS 10 now with iOS 10 to get the applications back you just need to go into the app store just go to search and search for the app that you deleted in my case it was the stocks app so I'm just gonna go ahead and search for stocks and now, uh, as you can see in the app store, you will find the application. So we could just go ahead and select the download button and then it's back immediately and you can have it back just like that. So really awesome that Apple implemented that. Apple added a new effect to Control Center in iOS 10. Of course, the Control Center is redesigned. However, you notice there, it's actually floating in midair. There is space between the bezel of the device and the Control Center, and that is a new effect. And there are CDA tweaks that allow you to do this. One of them is Rounder, which is what I have installed right now. It's from CP Digital Darkroom's beta repo. The repo will be up on your screen right now, so you could add that to Cydia. And it will also be in the description down below. But basically, as you guys can see right here, pretty much same effect now present in iOS 10. Apple sped up animation speeds in iOS 10. When you open and close applications, it's just much snappier, much faster. And with jailbroken devices, we've always had the ability to do this. There's various tweaks that essentially provide that, but personally, the one that I always use is called Speed Intensifier, and it allows you to speed up your animations. So essentially, for the settings for the tweak, there's various, essentially, levels that you can configure. You can configure it to your liking in here. Obviously, the tweak is superior because you could actually configure things, uh, but again, same kind of effect, just being able to open and close applications much faster. Apple changed up the way folders look in iOS 10. As you can see right here, there's this cool blurred background when you're inside of a folder like this, and also the opening animation is different, but we're, we're, we're going to focus on the blurring right now. And again, it's just really nice effect, and there's a tweak called Blur Folders that allows you to do this. Now, unfortunately, it has not been updated for iOS 9 either, so I'm going to go ahead and have to show you guys on the older iOS 7 device again. So I'll show you guys when we create a folder here. As you can see, it blurs the background just like that. Now, there are differences. For example, you can still see the kind of border of the inner folder there on iOS 10. Uh, but again, similar effect because it just blurs out the wallpaper on both of these just like that. So there you go. Apple cleaned up the notification center in iOS 10. Uh, in iOS 9 and earlier, there was two tabs. There was the notifications tab and there's the today tab up at the top and you could switch between them. However, in iOS 10, Apple simplified that. As you can see here, when we're on the home screen and we go ahead and open up notification center, it's just showing us our notifications section. However, um, there's still the today view, which on the home screen is present within, within the spotlight view. And it's also present on the lock screen as I showed you earlier. However, if you're inside an application on iOS 10, even though there's no today section, you can still slide over to the right like this. And as you can see, you'll still have your today, quote unquote, today section here. Uh, but again, it's much simpler and it looks much better because there's not two tabs up there. There is a city tweak called Simple Centers, which provides a very similar functionality. As you can see right here, when I pulled out Notification Center, there's nothing, you know, visible up at the top. There's no, those two tabs are not there. And if I want to, I could just slide over and I still have my Today View. So this is a very similar implementation that's now present in iOS 10. Of course, the difference is being, as you can see here, when we're on the home screen, we could still go ahead and slide over to get the Today section with the tweak because, of course, on iOS 9 and earlier, there's no widgets or anything like that within the spotlight view so it's accessible within applications and on the home screen how you could swipe like that but either way very similar implementation with the notification center on the, the tweak simple centers and now ios 10. in ios 10 there is now a separate page for music controls within control center it's not all on one page as you can see here we could just swipe over then we have again that second page which is designated to music uh, there are city tweaks that have done this in the past for example oxo legacy edition is one that comes to mind as you can see right here i have my controls and then if i slide over then i have the music section again there's other tweaks that do this oxo legacy edition is just one of them and i just want to conclude this video by saying apple is not killing the need to jailbreak there's always going to be reasons to jailbreak you know it is true that apple is taking a lot of these tweaks and implementing them into ios and obviously you no longer need to jailbreak to get that functionality however again there's always going to be new tweaks and ideas that developers come up with and create in the form of jailbreak 
tweaks. Personally, one of my favorite ones right now is called Chrysalis. It's, it came out a while ago, and I've really been loving it you know, throughout the past several months. It essentially allows you to access a little quick switcher by 3D touching on the left side of your 6S screen. And then you can just release your finger on any application to open it and switch applications really fast like this. It's just absolutely my favorite city tweak right now. It's just so fast and saves you so much time. So anyways, that's just personally a little side note, random side note for me. But yeah, guys, thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a like and subscribe to this channel for many more videos pertaining to iOS updates, jailbreaking, and pretty much anything else pertaining to iOS devices. Also, make sure to follow the channel on Twitter, like it on Facebook, and also make sure to follow me on Twitter. I'll be sure to put all those links down below in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.